In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a tooltip with an image within here instead of the standard rectangle or other point styles. And what we will do here, and as you can see very carefully, we're using an image that's being rotated gradually depending on the data point. So let's start to look how we can create this. So let's start to look how we can add up an image in the tooltip points down chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to get our default template, which you can find on chart.js3.com getting started. This specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this border template here, all the way down, copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. Paste that in there. And once you did that, I'm going to cut out this, delete those, and put it in here. Save, refresh, there we are. Let's increase the size of this by saying this will be 80%. Save, refresh, and now we have this. All right, so what I want to do here is basically this. First of all, I want to uh, add up a new image as an image object. So to do that is what we need to do here is just here below we're going to just add up the image object. Say so image object and I'm going to say a constant image equals new image and we just basically image object. In here we could basically say the the width and the height of the image itself and I'm going to refer to that later on. So we just leave that for now. Next, what I want to do then is here, I need to give you the source. So I'm going to say image dot source equals equals to what? So in this case, what I will do is I'll just go to chart.js yes, and just grab this specific image here, right click, copy image address. Basically, that's this image address here, which is an SVG file, which is fine as well, or S it's a VG image. So we're going to paste that in there. There we are. And then we can just say here, while well, we leave this for now, if I save this, refresh, nothing truly happens here because we didn't apply it anywhere. What I want to do is I want to apply it within this item here. So how do we do this? Let's scroll down here. And then what we're going to do here in the options, just after the scales, we're going to say comma. And then we're going to say tool, or sorry, not that, tooltip, but plugins. And then we're going to say your tooltip. And in the tooltip here, what we're going to do is we're going to say here, I want to use the point style. So use point style. So if I save this or and set it on true, and then afterwards we save it, what will happen, it will convert the point style now into a circle. So we can change this to triangle or something, but I don't want that. I want my own image. So how do we put in the own image in that circle, circular shape there? So what we're going to do is we're going to say a comma, and then I'm going to say here, callbacks with an S. And once we have the callbacks here, we're going to select here the label point style, which basically is a shape or an image that's being put in there. And if you're wondering what is the label point style, it's basically the color box area or where you have the circle. Sometimes it's a rectangle, one or the other, or any other shape if you have a different point style. So what we're going to do here is the point style, and we're going to say here, context and this is a callback functionality so we're going to put in here the uh, function error expression and then in here what we could do for example is to say console log and then we can say a context although it will not give you real useful information or understanding of it and interesting enough is reading point style gives an error and probably most likely because we don't have the item here label point style and all of this we didn't return anything yet so that's why it's giving the error. But if we click on this object, it will show us just a lot of information here, but honestly, nothing of any use value. And if we hover over it, you'll see here some of these items. That's all right here, basically, or probably here, maybe in the element, somewhere it should be there. Although I've been trying to dig around here, but it's tough. So I couldn't find anything in there. Anyway, doesn't matter. All what I want to do here is just to say, we want to have a few items. First of all, I want to return what are we going to return here? Well, what we could do here is we could return an object and this object will have multiple items. So this is an example. Basically, we don't have to do an object. We can just say return point style or well, it's an object as well. Sorry, my bad. It is an object because we have here this item here that we need to 
uh, change. And uh, we have the point style here, but now the point style, what exactly will be done with the point style? We're going to put in the image that we indicated here, which is the name of new image or image, that's the image object. So once we put in this here, if I save this, then refresh, let's let the hover over it. As you can see here, we're adding it up. But of course, as you can see here, this looks absolutely horrible. So what I want to do here is to change this. So what we can do here then is put a comma and we're going to say here, ro uh, uh, sorry, um, I'm doing here rotation. Well, let's do that one first. This is just in case if you want to. Let's say rotation, save. There we are. So you rotated it. What we could do, by the way, and this is maybe a fun part of it, that might be a very useful item. Because you can see here we have this index, data index. I can grab this data index because it depends on what index here. Then we could say here maybe rotation would be multiplied by context dot uh, data index. And what will happen is you will see you then a little bit more of a change, which is quite interesting. All right. Enough about the uh, design of this and maybe I will make a separate video for that. What I do want is I want this image to be small. Indicated here previously, we could say here, let's say 15 by 15 pixels. Basically, this is the width and the height of the image. That is different than the official image size, which is, I think, maybe 200 or 150 pixels. So if I save that and refresh, now you can see here this works. And if you look very carefully, you can see the image is rotating as well. So this is basically what we can do by adding up our own label color box image in here. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe besides of only having the tooltip design, maybe you have a line chart where you want to highlight the line points as well. In that case, we have this video here on how to replace the point of a line with an image in chart.js. In that case, I recommend this video as well. This is a different way of using that.